Hey friends, thanks for joining me for another video. Today, I'm going to do a little collab video with my friend, Nikki Halls. Y'all, she is a total sweetheart. She's the first person I've met and became friends with through YouTube. The first person, I can't remember if I reached out to her or she reached out to me. But yeah, she is an amazing friend and supporter if you're on YouTube or even if you're not. She just, I would love to have her as a friend in real life. If she lived in my town, we would be constant shopping buddies. But anyway, um, what we decided to collab on was the Jeffree Star cremated palette. Now, she is a huge Jeffree Star fan, and she has probably everything he's ever made, if not close to it. But um, I don't have anything of his except for this dead-on dupe um, of the cremated palette from Timu. This is the only thing that I've ever had even related to Jeffree Star. And as you can see, it's an exact dupe. The names of the um, shadows are the same, obituary, you know, embalming, mausoleum, all that stuff. So yeah, she's gonna use the real one and I'm using the dupe and we're gonna see what we come up with. We're, you know, we're just gonna check out the quality and just see if we come out with similar looks or just what we end up with. So yeah, um, right now I have on my brows, one little coat of mascara, um, some foundation like up to here. Clearly, I didn't cover my circles yet because um, I didn't want to make a mess with my eyeshadow and then have to clean up and then redo concealer. So, um, and I don't know where my eye tapes are. I think I left them in the other room, but it's fine. We'll get through this. I have a makeup wipe here and we're going to get through it. Okay. So, um, and once I get this eye look on, I'm going to still play with some Dollar Tree, that new Dollar Tree blush I just hauled and maybe a couple of other things. So, yeah. This will be fun. So let me go ahead and get started instead of chitting chatting so much. Guys, the first thing I'm gonna do, well, the first thing I'm gonna do is put on my primer. And this is Timu and it's amazing. Before I got this, my Holy Grail primer was the Milani. And it's very good, very, very, very good. And it lasts forever. Like if you buy that Milani um, eye primer, you could, even if you do your makeup every single day to go to work or darn near every day, it would probably still last you a year or more. I mean, it takes very little, guys, very little, as you can see. And, and with this one, this one has a faster drying time than the Milani. So if you go with the Timu, you got to do one eye at a time and you've got to hurry up and get it spread out because it's going to set down, which I like. I don't like having to, you know, wait forever for my eye primer to dry. And you, and I just go in, as always, like a bull in a china shop when you're supposed to be real delicate with your eye area. Am I? Do I ever go by the rules? No. Oh, I guess that's one of my big problems in life. I just refuse to stay in my lane and go by the rules. Oh. Okay, all right guys, let me give that a minute to set down. While I'm letting that set down a second, I had um, hauled this, um, I finally have a powder plush from Dollar Tree. I hauled this one yesterday, or the day before yesterday. It's, well, I'm filming this on Tuesday, so I technically, I'm, I'm gonna post it on Wednesday, but I hauled this on Monday. But it's just a dusty pink, just a really pretty, easy, blush that I don't think you could possibly ruin by going ham like I tend to do. But we're going to try a little bit of it. Woo! It does have some color to it. But it spreads out really easily. Oh, how pretty! Love. And y'all, this, um, little section that it's in is, I'm throwing away this brush. I'm not using one that. Um, it just gets in the way, but I want my face to match. Well, I did go a little ham, but um, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Am I matching? Yeah. Well, 
somewhat anyway. Okay, um, well, here's my eye tapes. Let me put, throw them on real quick. Everything in the world is sticking to them. I've got animals, and even though my cat doesn't get up on sur surfaces like this, I still end up with cat hair everywhere. I don't know how or why. Okay, I went a little long on that tape, but let's see here. I can't believe I actually have all my stuff together and I'm able to do this in a timely manner. Okay. Okay, and another thing I'm gonna do real fast, I want to try this little contour. Well, actually, this is too warm to be a contour. It's technically a bronzer. And I'm just gonna put a smidge up here. I think there's still plenty in my puff from the other day when I was playing with this. I'm just gonna put two little dots right in here. Yeah. Not go so crazy with it and see where we end up. I should have done this before the blush, but we're just gonna try to make them melt together. Mm-hmm. And this is a wet formula. Wait a minute, I don't have my mirror on. That's my problem. That's why I can't freaking see anything. Y'all, why didn't y'all tell me my mirror wasn't on? Although this mirror has a mind of its own, I swear it's possessed, y'all. It, even if it's fully charged, which I just spent like an hour charging it, it will just ram randomly cut off. I think it likes to play games with me. My haunted little mirror. But yeah. And this is a Timu brush. Okay, um, yeah, that's not too, I probably still need to, I keep all going too low on the face with it or blending it too far down. Okay, let me get started on this eye. I'm gonna take this big, ginormous, fluffy brush and I'm just gonna set my lids with this color Death Blow. I'm just gonna put this down just, you know, to set it. Make sure it's good. So we want our um, eyeshadow to glide really well. And so a little powder base helps our eyeshadows glide and blend better, I think. I mean, that may not be everybody's thing, but some people even go over it with just a regular setting powder. It doesn't really matter. Just as long as you set it down a little bit, make sure it's good and dry. It is. Okay, guys. Um... Let me take this blending brush here, or this crease brush. Let me find it. My crease brush. And let's try Last Respects. That doesn't look too scary. Let's see. All right. Y'all, my son, by the way, I'm, I'm going to go hang out with him tomorrow. Today's Tuesday, tomorrow's Wednesday. We're going to um, hang out. We try to get together once a week, once every two weeks anyway. And we're going to a concert this Saturday night. What did I just see? I just felt like I saw somebody walk by and there's nobody in here but me. My husband's off today, but he's up at the brewery. It's brew day and he's helping brew beer. He's... That's kind of like his side gig, plus his just passion project. He loves the brewery. He loves beer. Okay, so that looks okay. Now, I might even deepen it up with this little color. Um, Let's see. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in with Morgue, the Morgue, and try to deepen up this outer corner a little bit. This is a very cool tone palette, guys. Very cool toned. My tapes are sliding around, so they're really not helping me that much. Let's get this outer corner good and dark, friends. We might have to go in with something even darker. Yeah, we're going with something even a hair darker, a little bit over that. Um, how about, let's see. 
eulogy. I'm going to go in with this right here, eulogy, and see if that'll darken it up just a smidge more. But yeah, this is a good palette for a smoky look. But guys, I was going to tell you. Okay, so my son is dating this gal. They have been they met on Tinder of all places. Y'all, I'm so behind on, on what's going on with young people. I thought Tinder was just like a hookup, as in, you know, hit and run hookup site. But apparently, it's just a full-on dating site now. So my son met this girl. Where was I at? Oh, I'm, I was still trying to go in with eulogy. And um, my son met this gal, and uh, she's about his age. And um, she lives in another town, but it, it's not too far. He's in Greensboro, and she there are many towns surrounding Greensboro. But, um, yeah, she lives in one of them. And uh, so they don't get to see each other super often because she works weird hours and everything. So, uh, anyway, but I haven't met her yet, and I'm nervous because I'm just nervous about meeting her. And I don't know when I'm ever gonna get to meet her. I feel sort of like he's hiding her a little bit. Let me, let me just go through and try to um blend this out. I don't know, y'all. But I wanna meet his girlfriend. Oh, and this is the point I was gonna make. Okay, so Brian, I don't know, you know, you know our situation. Those of you that have been following me for a while, we're not, good i mean we're prop we're living together but basically separated we sleep in separate bedrooms um you know it, it's just a situation a complicated one but anyhow um he surprised me out of the blue a, a couple of months ago with post malone tickets now y'all some of y'all that are that are around my age y'all are gonna be like post malone yes that's what i listen to i don't i know a lot of people my age listen to that 80s hair band music still like um and classic rock and stuff like bon jovi and all that i mean i love that stuff in the 80s but i i'm over it <laughs> I mean, I hope I'm not going to offend everybody, but I'm over that old music. I like to keep up with what's popular now. So, um, I mean, and I still like Bon Jovi when it comes on the radio. I'm fine with it, but it's just, I would not go to see them live if they came to my area. And they have come, but I'm just not that interested in them. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to go in with this shade. And Lord, talk about going ham. This shade down here, and look how hard I hit it. Oh my gosh, it's called Diamond Ashes. Anyway, so I'm really excited about this concert and my son promised me he'd go. So he planned to get off work early Saturday and go with me. But I'm thinking about uh, letting him have the ticket. Oh my, this is pigmented and it's kind of chunky, but we're gonna make it work. Uh, we're going to blend it over here and then start patting. Start patting. Because we want to blend. We want to have like a gradient. Oh, I, I went a little too high with it. But guys, we're going to take care of that. We're going to blend it all out in the end and it's going to be fine. Um, but yeah, I may have to go back in and darken this up a little bit. But see, we, we want like a gradient leading into our dark corner. So anyway, I'm, I want to see Post Malone so bad. I am a huge fan. And, uh, but I'm thinking about letting him have the, 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 um, my ticket and let him take his girlfriend. What do y'all think? I, I'm so looking forward to it, but I don't know. I feel like that would be something fun he and his new gal could do. What do y'all think? Shall I let him have the ticket? I, I'm going to talk to him about it tomorrow. And, but I feel like if I let her have my ticket and I haven't even met her yet, Okay, we're starting to get there, guys. Now what we want to do, let me wipe this off. Now what we want to do, guys, is go in here with like a slightly lighter shimmer, like either Mausoleum or Afterlife. I'm gonna try Afterlife, because it looks like it has a hair of pink in it. And I'm just going to see if I can dab this on here to help us create more of a gradient. 
I don't know. I don't know what to do. I should probably just go ahead and go, enjoy the time with him. But I just figured that was, that would be a really fun thing for he and for he and she to do. Is that proper grammar? He and she, the two of them. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna darken the outer corner just a little bit more and then we're gonna do a big, big blend out and then we're gonna go in with mascara. And guys, this is getting too long again. I'm always going on too long with these get ready with me's because I start talking. All right, I'm gonna go back in with Eulogy and just darken this back up just a little bit. Just get it back in there. And just start blending out with my finger again. But this final blend with our big fat brush, I think I'm gonna leave that at that for now. But I'm gonna go in with this big fat flabby brush and get up here and just try to blend this all together and make it kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Seamless, is that the word I'm looking for? And like, I like the old music guys, like, you know, old Skinner and old Rolling Stones. Um, I even like old Scorpions. My husband, I'm so envious. Um, he got to see the Scorpions twice when he was a teenager. Oh, I'm so envious. I don't think they tour anymore. They're old. All those 80s bands, those members have gotten up there. Guys, I'm pretty happy with this look. I don't know. What do you think? Let's throw on some mascara and see where we're at. Um, I'm going to put the lid back on my little... This little La Mercery, um setting spray, don't sleep on this, guys. It's pretty good, even if you do nothing but use it to put down your um, um, shimmery, shimmery shadows and help make them stay so you don't get fallout. That's the main reason. It, it, it um, elevates the way they look, plus it keeps you from getting a bunch of fallout, which my NYX glitter glue would have also done, but I forgot. I'm, I'm so busy just running my mouth, I'm forgetting what I'm doing here. All right, let me try to get some all this shimmer off of my fingers real quick. Oh, do I have any face wipes left? I have one left, guys. This was a Dollar Tree pack that I kept in here just for things like this. And, um, yeah, wait, my earring came out. I think that's why I never wear these. See, the other one's getting ready to. I think I need to put those little clear uh, rubber backs on them. Y'all know the ones I mean. I've got plenty of them. All right, let me take my eye tapes off and see where we're at here. But I like this palette. Um, if you're into Jeffree Star and can't afford his stuff or just don't want to order off his site, because I think that's about the only place you can get his items. I mean, you could probably get his palettes used off Poshmark or um, Macari. But yeah, uh, I think you pretty much have to shop on his site. I don't think he's an altar or anywhere like that. I know he's not at Sephora. But guys, a lot of people don't like him because he's had like some drama with other influencers. But that stuff is so juvenile. I, I no. It's just too juvenile for me to follow. I have too many real problems to worry about silly influencer drama. So, I don't really care what he's done unless he's, like, physically hurt somebody. I don't really care what he's done. He's not part of my life, and I'm just not worried about him. But anyway, let's see if we can get some mascara on here. Oh, shoot. I meant to use a hair of, before I went in with this waterproof... I meant to use a little um of this one from Dollar Tree. And why does it take waterproof mascaras so long to dry, y'all? It seems like they're all such wet formulas. That's why I finally had to trash the one that looked like um that had that real pretty packaging, like the gradient, like um, pink and blue packaging. Um, well, for one thing, it was getting old and you're not supposed to keep your mascaras more than three months, although I think we all cheat and do it. Okay. I'm going to be mopping. Ooh. Let me take my wipe to that. Ooh, that was messy. Get off my hand. 
Now, you know my face? By some miracle, that I dropped that thing and didn't get mascara on my face. I never. That's a shock. Okay, but anyway, I don't even know what I was talking about at this point. But I know we're going to go in with some um, Dollar Tree concealer and clean up the under the eye. Oh, I meant to. Oh, yeah. I had to trash that Maybelline dupe from Timu. It, the, the, after months, the formula was just so wet. It was just messing up my eye makeup every time I put it on. I mean, once it finally dried down, it did its job. I mean, it didn't give me panda eyes or anything. But it was just such an ordeal getting it to dry down without making a huge mess all over the place with my eye makeup. And I don't mind flicking off, you know, a, a couple of dots of dried mascara um, on my face or my lid. But, I mean, it was just completely trashing my whole eye looks. And, I mean, I was having to wipe off so much eyeshadow. I was basically having to just go back and do the look again after cleaning up after that mascara. Life is too short for that. So, that thing went in the trash about a week ago. But, um, this one is not doing a whole lot better. And, guys, I should have known better than to buy it. This is the Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof um, that I picked up on, on some clearance deal. I guess it's discontinued at, um, Walmart, and um, I've never been a fan of Rimmel. Rimmel and me, their products have just never done well for me. I know a lot of people love them, and I think they're a British brand, and they're a very popular drugstore brand over in the UK, but they just have never really worked out well for me. Okay, I've got a little bit under the eye. That must have been from the drop, from me dropping it. But since I don't even have any concealer on yet, that's not too big of a problem. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get some of this concealer on. Today, instead of the La Mercerie, I'm going to use this Simply Ageless, this Be Pure. It's the Neutrogena dupe. I, again, I think that's what they're duping. And y'all, this is a perfect shade for me. It's a little bit yellow, but it blends out really, really well. Really well. Um, and I might do a check-in later today and see who, who, how everything is doing if I remember to do it. If I remember, that's the key word. Okay, I'm just trying to get all this mascara from this big calamity I had off of me. Okay. Let me get my little, um, guys, I'm, I'm trying to keep my, um, brushes straight. So I'm using this one. I'm trying to use, remember to use this black one for bronzer and this red one, this BK Beauty dupe from Timu as um, concealer. And I like to take it all the way up in here because my dark circles are just atrocious. I mean, they go all the way around the eye. Y'all, this mirror decided to stay on. It, I talked crap about it, and now it's staying on. Hey, Webster, what you doing, buddy? My little buddy, he won't ever lie on this blanket that I put behind me. He just always wants to walk around and nose around. Okay, guys, what else was I going to play with? Was there anything else I was going to mess with out of this? Out of this, um, out of my, um, oh, I think I will take, where is it? I should have used my Be Pure primer I hauled yesterday. Darn, but I'm going to do that and get ready with me where I do my whole face. Um, what was I looking for in here? powder. Oh, here it is. I'd already gotten it out. This is my La Mercery just translucent setting powder. It looks white, but it's really not that terrifying. It's just, just translucent. Okay, let me just take a little bit of this. I don't have a fluffy bro. Oh, I do have a powder puff. Let me see how this does. No, that's not going to do it. Let me get my little powder puff here. My little um, beauty blender dupe from Timu. Okay, 
Let me just blend the eyeshadow just a smidge more. And guys, I think we have our look. It's not too shabby. If I do say so myself, I mean, I've done a better job on eyeshadow, but for my first time ever messing with this palette, not too shabby. And yes, this is definitely very cool toned, which I like for a change. I really like cool toned. So yeah, this is the finished look, guys. I think it, besides maybe adding some more mascara, which I guess I'll do, just add a hair. I think this is our finished look and I'm pretty happy with it. But I want to end this video before it gets entirely too long. Okay, guys, so I'm going to cut it off here. I'm not going to ramble anymore. I'm going to take this headband off and see what these crazy bangs are doing. I need to cut them. I definitely need to trim them. They're just, they're not even bangs anymore. They're just, I don't know what they are. Okay, guys, that's it. I'm going to quit fretting about my hair and my face and my earrings and let you guys go. But um, when you're seeing this, it's Wednesday. I hope you're having a fabulous hump day. And guys, all of you that um from this state and all the others that are dealing with the, the aftermath of that hurricane, I'm sending you all the positive juju. I'm going to try to get some stuff donated to a local church. I think my local Salvation Army is also taking up stuff. So, guys, just if you have um, some kind of church or uh, organization in your community that's collecting stuff, I think they need a lot of blankets, bottled water, just a lot of stuff like that. So, if, if you, you know have the ability to do it, please pitch in because it's a mess up in the Asheville area. And that's my favorite North Carolina city. It just makes me sick how bad a flooding they got. Okay, guys, but I'm done talking. I will see you in the next one. Bye.